Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm letting Garrett share his story of how he went from stiff as a two by four to getting up and down from the floor. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get much better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this one. First of all, who are you? Where'd you come from? Let's give everybody that to start with. How about? Yeah, I love it. Um, cool. Well, my name is Garrett. I'm 38 years old. Uh, I got two kids. I got a, my boy's about to be eight. Uh, my girl is five and they are active as can be. Uh, uh, it's the kind of life we aim to live as an active lifestyle. So my wife and I, um, and gosh, you know, I uh, have always considered myself active. I love, you know, rock climbing, that kind of stuff. Um, used to do a lot more when it came to like uh, dodgeball, ultimate frisbee, softball. Used to be baseball, but as you get older, it kind of migrates to softball. I don't know why that is, but uh, <laughs> it comes with dad life, I think. I don't know why. But, um, but yeah, man, as I have gotten older, I think 30 was a big one for me where I feel like my body stopped recovering big time. And it would just take a lot longer. Stuff would hurt a lot longer. Um, you get a couple injuries here and there throughout life if you're typically playing sports or whatever and some of them stick with you a little longer um i've done things man i've i've like jacked up my lower back seriously pretty bad i've torn my rotator cuff um kind of like half torn my lcl and stuff in my knees and nothing that's ever really required surgery but a lot of kind of just just babying it hoping it all comes back to life together um and most of all those things were in my you know uh, late teens or early 20s and it's kind of been fine until I hit 30 and then stuff just started being a little more sore all the time, or a little longer. And uh, I, I switched careers and kind of got out of being active consistently, which I thought would kind of give me a little bit better longevity with my body. But I think it actually did the opposite. I feel like I started to go downhill <laughs> even more because I, I wasn't being active. And uh, gosh, I noticed like in not like it's that big of a deal, but in like three years, I gained like an extra like 15, 17 pounds and just was a little bit more lackadaisical in, in all the things. Um, so it's great. So like, uh, I don't know, beginning of like this last year of like 2020, like beginning of 2021, I like cut that extra 15 pounds, got back down to where I wanted to be, but it was like, man, every time I'd like try to go exercise, it was like my knees sucked. It just hurt and it would like take me out. I'd want to rest uh, my hip, my shoulder still. It's like sometimes you lay on it and you're like, oh, okay, stretch it out, stretch it out. And so uh, randomly Jack and I found each other on Instagram and I don't even really know and how we got connected to be honest. Um, but I was I've the Vishla, right? Cause you, it, you I think Vishla, right? <laughs> yeah, we have the same kind of thought. And, um, but I, I was really into what you were doing, obviously. Cause I was like, man, I can't bend like that. Um, yeah. And, and you the, said that the big things you came in with were the, the knee pain and the shoulder shoulder pain that you had from your previous injury. Were those the two main ones that you were kind of, you would say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And honestly, like I was, I was watching a lot of stuff that you were posting too, which was, I just was super attracted to and going, man, I want to be able to move like that. And I've thought long and hard for the last little bit. I was like, man, I like in my twenties, I really focused on like my mindset, my, just my mentality of a lot of things. Um, and your knowledge and like my thirties, I put a lot into like my EQ uh, of just, uh, you know, socially understanding how you fit into a room in my forties. I'm like, I need to really pay attention to my mobility. And I think it was the mobility mindset that um, definitely was like, I've got to prioritize that because normally it's, it's not prioritized in, in anybody else that I know. Um, and I just, I have a lot of friends that are just, you know, my age or whatever. And it's kind of in the phase where you kind of just you just slow down and that's the pace you make and you gain a little weight, you get a little beer belly. Like you just do those things. And I was like, I can't do it, man. And I was like, <laughs> I then literally, I saw like the, I think the program is actually called like death to dad bod or, and um, <laughs> 12 week dad bod like, mobility wad. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I was like that, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, it just worked out so great. So I've, I've put, I've put more, um, more attention to my knees than necessarily my shoulder as it's like, those are like just priority for me. We, we uprooted in this process. We left um, Illinois 
and we moved to Phoenix, Arizona. And we want to be able to be outside all year round. We want to be able to hike the mountains and uh, go up north to the Flagstaff area or Pine Top and uh, like just do all these things as my kids are stirring up all the rocks. And it's like, that's just how I've always lived my life. And as I've gotten older, I'm like, well, I'm starting to not go as much. And because I didn't want to be sore the next couple of days, I didn't want it, whatever, you know, you start to like squat, I'd start to squat down and be like, and you hold your breath till you hit the floor. And <laughs> so when you it, were coming in, how, uh, what would you rate, like, as far as on a scale of one to 10, how bad were your knees coming in? I felt like a two by four where I would like want to bend over and I would just Stay okay. straight. Um, <laughs> okay. So no, it, it, it wasn't like that, that above a five, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, it was one of those things where it was like just you'd feel like I couldn't I couldn't sit on my knees, like I couldn't sit on my feet, if that makes sense. It was too uncomfortable to sit. Like I know it's probably stupid now, but like I couldn't sit like on my um on my feet or even like getting up and doing silly little things of like I was going to squat down low to like talk to my kids or do whatever it was always a lot of pressure on my knees and so that's where I put so much of the effort and energy and I literally I was like showing my wife Rachel the other day uh, we're she was joking about she's like I need to do squats with you and um <laughs> but I laughed because I was like I before I I couldn't without an insane amount of pain I couldn't like squat all the way down and then sit back on my feet and stay here like it was too uncomfortable to stay. I don't know why I'm showing you this on camera, but um, I, I it's proof, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to go from is, a two I, by four to that. <laughs> yeah, and so let alone like to be able to lay back. I don't know if you remember, but like you were doing a thing, and I was like, yep. bro, I would break in half if I did that. And um, so that's where I put most of my energy. And and man, you get you get out what you put in. That's just how these things go. And so um, I just know, like, I just need to stay consistent in it. And it's just how it's just a perspective of life that you need to carry of prioritizing your body because it's just what we got to take care of. Yeah. So, so where would you say when you started to now, you said two by four and now you're showing off some moves on the camera. And um, so, so we've definitely made some really good progress. Would you, you say at this point with, with the news, it's been 12 weeks. Yeah. And I, I've, I've joked, you know, I've told you a couple of times now, I was like, dude, like, any, anyone who questions it, you send them, you send them my way. I'll, I'll tell you, because <laughs> it, it just makes a world of difference when you're, you know, whether it's early mornings or late at night and you're like, Ugh, just being sore sucks. And it's, I, I'm fine with being sore when I'm 65, 70 years old, but I'm freaking 38 years old and I don't want to be sore. I want to enjoy life. I want to run around with my kids. And same thing, like, you know, you're, I know you're a dad, you're a natural jungle gym. That's how it works being a dad. And <laughs> I want to be able to do that. I want, want my kids to tackle me and I want to go down to the ground and then I want to sit with them. I want to enjoy the tea party with my girl. Um, she did a wedding for ducks the other day, you know, like okay, I want to, yeah. I want to attend the duck wedding, man. Um, <laughs> no, that's so awesome. It's, yeah, it's been good. What, what would you say, um, you know, early on, what was your, first of all, before you even got into the program, what was one of your biggest hesitations that you would have kind of like, what was making you question or think in the first place? Um, you know, I'm not, dude, I'm, I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if I was necessarily hesitant. I wasn't really sure what the workload was going to be. Like yeah. if it was going to fit my, the time frames I have, uh, okay. cause I had just landed out here and I'm like, my, I don't have a consistent schedule. I'm all over the map and all over the Valley. So I don't have like, a, I work out from six to eight every day. Like that's just right. not my lifestyle and I don't <laughs> have a frame. Um, and so I was like, that's the kind of thing was like, I don't know if this is going to be a bigger commitment than what I can live up to, in which case you feel like you're just wasting money. Um, and sometimes, sometimes the dollar sign is for people like people get scared of that kind of stuff. And uh, if you remember, I looked at you and I was like, dude, here's the deal. I know I need to make this investment into my body. And yeah. to me, that's just how I've tried to view it. It's like not a dollar sign. It's not a product I'm buying. It's an investment into my body to get my body back to feeling the way I wish it would. And I'm so happy with, with the return on that investment. And so anyone who cares about money should care about ROI, which is a return on investment. Yeah. And how I feel is that return on investment. So I'm, I'm thrilled. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, what, was, what was the most challenging part for you um, within the program itself? What, what gave you some struggles, would you say? Um, honestly, it's, it's probably within the first, like, few days after the first few days when you start experiencing 
a little bit more mobility, it's the fuel in the fire. And that's to me, I think what I, as, as soon as that, that hit me, which is probably like literally like day four. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> that was my four, next question. How soon were we talking? Yeah, Did you see changes? I, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it was about day four. I'm pretty sure it was like the end of the first week, you know, cause the first couple of workouts, I was like, all right, no big deal. But really it was developing core, but I, uh, there's also several times I messaged you and I was like, bro, light bulb after light bulb after light bulb about the, the way that we're just not taught correctly as kids. I don't think in, in elementary PE about how to load our body correctly and all these different things. And so when you're, you know, constantly lifting and turning or doing things do this freaking like two weeks ago, I was like, I don't think I'm standing. Correct. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, like literally, and I just stand it. not like not doing something. I mean, just standing still. And, um, uh-huh. So I feel like I've had to relearn a ton of those things, which has been super beneficial for me. Sure. And uh, that's honestly been more fuel in the fire going, oh, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. So that's really exciting. But it was like day four or five that like, yeah, some of the core stuff was good, but it's like, oh, once I realized like doing simple, like laying flat on my back and doing a couple like leg lifts going, there's a lot of pressure on my lower back. Oh, because I'm not loading my core correctly when I'm laying flat. Mm-hmm. Frick. <laughs> um, and and it's so stupid because of how many times in my life throughout like my adult years that I'm like oh I need to work on my lower abs let me do some leg lifts and I wasn't even doing them correctly all these years you know right, um, right. and typically you <laughs> stop doing them because you're not doing them correctly right so yep. uh, once like literally is that and the end of the first week where I started to see uh more flexibility and dude the biggest thing for me and um, it's what I do most consistently more than anything else is uh, besides the voodoo floss, which anybody who checks out your stuff is like, okay, what's up with this voodoo floss? You weird. talked about it a lot, <laughs> but it's for a reason. So uh-huh. if anybody else ever wants this, they better think and use it. My wife borrowed it from me two nights ago. I put it on her elbow for her. Um, there you go. But the, the bands, um, and there's like this one where you essentially just have like, it's the one where I just like you bring your um, knee back like this over and over again with the band. Yep. It's like one of the first things I started doing, mm-hmm. but with my knee specifically, I needed to build so much muscle, I think, and just my tendon strength and all that kind of stuff in there, wh- whatever's developing in there um, has been really good. And that's what has helped me so much get up off the ground and back down in the flexibility and mobility. So once I started to see that within the end of the first week, I was like, I'm in, let's go. Yeah, right. <laughs> awesome, man. What would you say um, one of the biggest benefits of the program is itself? Um, I think one of the, I mean, honestly, one of the biggest benefits is the result. Um, the fact that you can do it in your home, you don't have to go to a gym somewhere, which I think is intimidating to a lot of people that are seeking help. Um, just going, just going to a gym is an intimidating thing. Mm-hmm. And um, so to be able to, whether it's in my bedroom, I did a, I would do it in my backyard, like in the sunshine since I moved out to Arizona, um, mm-hmm. being able to do it on my own time frame, my own schedule and my own pace all makes a difference. Um, I was very impressed at your fitness app and how user-friendly all that stuff is, but how you have everything built in, whether it's a timer, a counter, a tracker, all that stuff. I think you have a very good package put together for people. It just makes it really easy to stay, uh, connected with everything. Awesome. Um, as well as um, I always appreciate the weekly check-ins and it's, 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 it really was tailored to me. So uh, it's cool. To, it's cool to every now and then meet some of the people that are doing this with you on those community calls, which I think is sure. really cool. Um, but I always loved how even in the community call, it's like, cool, Garrett, what do you need this week? How can I help you, man? And the beginning, you, you would text me at the beginning of every week too, being like, Hey, what do you need? And I think that's when I was like, I don't think I'm standing like just sometimes random things that I was made. <laughs> it made me feel like I could reach out to you and not like, it's a burden or something, you know, it made me feel like you were going, dude, how's the progress without it feeling like, um, I don't know, of, there was never a encroachment into my space. Awesome. Uh, so it was, I just, yeah, I, I appreciate the way you, you did everything. Awesome. So it is an investment. You kind of already covered that. Right. But it, it, and that is the word that we should use, right. Because it's not necessarily some, if, if you don't have that right money mindset, a lot of people like to say, what's the cost? And that's the cost is the idea that you're throwing that money out, right? Because if, when yeah, you, if you, if, if you something don't costs something, that, yeah. If you don't use that word, then your, then your body's just not a priority to you, plain, plain and simple. So all in all, 
is it worth the investment that you made into the programming? Awesome. Hands down. I, I would not only would I recommend it, but I would do it again. What is the most real benefit that has like completely like change you overall as far as I mean like what what has it really given you back that you didn't you know you felt like you didn't have before already dude I'm just focused on what's in front of me instead of focused on what's inside of me when it comes to pain yeah you know I mean so like I before I'd, I there's so many times that I'd be like I'd, I'd stand there and count the cost of an activity instead of being like okay. yeah put me in oh and, <laughs> and just that's a terrible way to think you know what I mean it's a terrible perspective to have and um, I'm wearing glasses, but it's like how often people don't clean their lenses. And that's, you have to look through all that junk all the time. And that was to me just something um, that was just one of the perspectives was just some of the crap that was on my glasses that I just needed to clean off was that perspective of uh, is how sore am I going to be after this? Or is it worth it? Because I know I'm going to bring you to half a bottle of ibuprofen before I go to bed. Yeah. So do you think it's about age or do you think it's more about what we do now at this point after you've learned a few things here? That's, I can't answer that because I've been saying it's about age for the last eight years. <laughs> so I, uh, I still laugh at your, like, when you post on Instagram and you're like, for those who say, I'm like, like you had one, you were like, I'm coming for you, you know? And I was like, that was me uh, <laughs> because that's, I was just like, man, I guess because everybody I'm surrounded by, it's like, I guess that's what happens in life, right? You just, you just age. Like everybody I know, like I was always around a group of guys, you know, and you, you, you know, you train fighting and doing all that stuff and mm. you're young and I don't know, sparky. So you just go for it. And then you hit a certain age and you're like, I guess I just, this is where everyone just starts grabbing a gun and one hand and a beer in the other. And you just get a little fat. And I guess that's what happens, I guess. I don't know. Sit on the rocking chair in the front porch and just hang out and, and wait. Yeah, man. <laughs> Which I'm all about the rocking chair, but the fact that I, I, I have so many mountains I want to climb still. And I feel like I'm on my way to being able to do that. And so that's uh, just a, it blesses my heart a ton, man. It makes me feel like I have so much more capacity in, in my life to live, which is a big deal. Would you say that you've noticed any differences with like within your household? Cause you, you mentioned your kids, your wife. I mean, have they already, have they noticed a change within, in you at all? Would you say? Yeah. That? I mean, me, my wife just gone on the journey with me of being like, you know, cause I'm, I asked her, I was like, Hey, I'm going to put this money into my body. And she's like, all right. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I always tried to hide it from my kids. Anyway, you just try to, but that's also why I was dealing with pain. Cause I would just go for it with my kids. And then their repercussion was my slow moving body. And, um, so I think more than anything, it's the fact that if anything's changed, it's probably my attitude because, I'm just I'm always down for the rest of the match I'm down for what's next I'm down to pick them up from school and um, we they're in day three of their new school okay. and we walk to school every morning it's down the street uh, from our house and so uh, it's so stupid man because people are like it's just walking but it's cool but I would do it before. <laughs> yeah. and okay. wow. we walk, you know we walked the quarter mile of school and my wife and I dropped them off the first day on Monday and then we walked um, you know like a mile down to Starbucks we sat had coffee together um, then we walked all the way home. Like, so just some of those things are, are awesome and have been super in the fact that that's the stuff that it's changing, you know, when it's so, your attitude. So with that confidence that you've kind of gained from it, would you say that it, that comes from just having like the tools and skills, kind of that knowledge and background now behind it? What do you think drives I, that? Yeah, I think, I mean, knowing too, like how I have to figure out how to launch here, like I can't, I can't hang up this phone and then go back to doing nothing like I for me I'm like all the things that I've been learning that's those are the things I need to stand on and continue to do moving forward like that they become disciplines right otherwise it's like that's great but three years from now I'll have another 15 pounds and uh be sore again like that's just how life works if we don't prioritize it absolutely awesome man all right and last one I got for you just um anything else that you would say to someone who is currently on the fence or thinking about working through this mobility programming that that might be helpful to them yeah man i'll let you edit this out um if you need to. <laughs> i just think you're stupid if you do it if you're if you're, <laughs> you're who's been considering it or questioning it and you're like i don't know if it's worth it that's fine unless you keep going back to the fence going should i do this should i do this just freaking do it because if you're asking yourself do i want to feel better or not is like, I don't, I just understand how to answer the question. Do I want to feel better or not? Yes. 
Yeah, you right. do. Right. Plain, plain and simple. So yeah. I feel like a lot of people, they just, man, they, they look at a dollar sign. How can I save five, 10, 20, 50 bucks? And they'd rather try to pretend like they're going to download another free workout app and do some stuff in their bedroom. And on day three, they quit. So um, I think it's actually super beneficial to make the investment so that you have some stake in the game. Sure. And then aim for that return on investment, which is how you feel in your mobility on the, on the backside of that. Awesome, man. Well, Hey, I appreciate you doing this and the effort that you put into your programming as well. I mean, honestly, like you were, you're like my star student and uh, <laughs> you made my job real easy um, going through it uh, with all the work that you did and, and just putting your head down and, and following what was given. And, and uh, I do appreciate that. I want to let you know that. So uh, thank, thank you very man. much for doing this and for everything that you put into it. So. Yeah, of course. All right. And there you have it. 12 weeks to see major changes in knees that were described as stiff as a two by four to being able to get up and down on the floor with his kids and interact in the way that he wants to, living the active life that he wants to. Pretty incredible change, if you ask me. If you like this story, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below, and take a moment to share it with a friend if you know someone that is struggling with knee pains or that has stiffness around their knees, is very restricted in their movement because of it, make sure you pass this their way. If that person is you, and you want to improve your current situation, if you struggle with knee pain, if you have training aches and injuries, those types of things that are restricting you from getting involved and experiencing life with your family, what I want you to do right now is drop down below in the description here and fill out the coaching application. When you fill out that form, I'll get in contact with you so we could set up a time to talk and give you the direction that you need to go to help you improve where you're currently at so that you can restore your mobility as well. And last but not least, if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it does not get better than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. Catch you next week.